Hello my soccer universe. Well, this was one heck of a weekend uh, all over Europe. I mean, in every major league you have many talking points and I have to say the Bundesliga is chief among those for sure uh, with two outstanding results. It was also one heck of a week for me because both of my favorite teams, one which is Lusk, which I'm wearing the last season's Bundesliga home jersey, the nice one with the many sponsors and the pink sleeves, which we got rid of now. We finally now have sleeves that fit with the jersey. Very happy about that. Uh, yeah, winning both twice. Not always convincing. Well, Lask, convincing. But let's start in Germany, where the big headline is, and we'll talk about this game individually, but both big boys lost. Yeah. Bayern being probably happy after their Super Cup win uh, over Sevilla and I did not make a video on this channel, I don't watch it for me, this is a bogus competition. And a competition where you get a trophy after just one game played is not a comp comp competition that I want to bother about, it's it's a glorified friendly. So anyway, uh, it must have been you know Bayern coming out of that, then Dortmund winning, Bayern happy and then Bayern losing uh, in really spectacular fashion. What a story. But let's go bit by bit. First of all, I had we had the Friday evening game, which was the pretty much the only game I sort of watched live. I mean, I was working here um, uh, in the evening and I had the game on uh, on the second screen. So I was kind of following uh, between Hertha and Frankfurt. Uh, the game was actually Frankfurt bossed it around most of the time. I think Hertha only had uh, some timid chances and when Andre Silva uh, was taken down and converted a penalty in the in the third, it was very well deserved. Bastos after a nice Kamada cross made it 2-0 and I think this was really uh, what the doctor ordered more or less for um, uh, Frank Frankfurt, who then even, you know, Hertha never got back into the game. Rode makes it 3-0, again Kamada assisting, and then it was a Hinteregger own goal that kind of gave Hertha not really hope, but it was a 3-0 win. Bielefeld puts Köln into some trouble uh, with their win, so that was unexpected, but then uh, we can talk about Augsburg Dortmund. How did Augsburg, lowly Augsburg, with some of the most boring jerseys this season, although Gladbach is there as well, uh, beat Dortmund, well, by being physically and saying, okay, we're, you are young guys, we just pull you around. That was basically their strategy. Uh, I don't want to say men against boys, but it was not too far off that, to be honest. Uh, the early thunder was quickly taken away and there was like a sequence of like um, two minutes where there were four yellow cards given, three for Augsburg, uh, but there was a big uh, bust up between uh, Kedira and Holland, where Kedira kind of wanted to slap him away like that or push him, him away and hit him in the face and Holland gets um, in there and I think you could say that they were Oxford was really getting them off their game then. And when Udo Kai in the 40th and after half Kali Kali Jury made it tall 2 tunnel for Dortmund, uh, for Augsburg, the game seemed settled. Although, uh, at the same time, uh, er early this season, I think Augsburg also held a 3 1 lead and then lost 5 3 at uh, Haaland's debut, but there was no coming back. I mean, there were chances, but there was no coming back for Dortmund. So Augsburg gets a shock victory and you really wonder. Great showing the second half against Gladbach for Dortmund, but a team that is physically and can, can get them off the game, you gotta work on that. Um, Gladbach, a speaker which had a rather disappointing 1-1 against Union Berlin, was rather lucky. The big game probably, probably this weekend was between Leverkusen and Leipzig, I think uh, no, normally, where uh, Forsberg with a wonderful uh, goal Sister by Paulsen gives Leipzig the lead. Demir by equalizes shortly thereafter. Um, and then uh, Paulsen has to go off and new signing Sirloth comes on. Uh, Sirloth, Sirloth. I want to say Sirloth, but let's see. Um, and make uh, and kind of change a little bit the dynamic for Leipzig. It was then really uh, Leverkusen that was uh, better in the game and actually got a great goal through um, Schick 
but he was on the first pass offside, so it, uh, that doesn't count. So it ends 1 1 there. Um, Mainz Stuttgart is another. Mainz a little bit disarray. There was a player strike, and it could be that the coach is a little bit under fire. I, I know that the player, the, the, the management kind of wanted to suspend the player for something. I don't really know, but it caused huge waves. Players didn't want to show up, and yeah, but they are back in training. Kweissen actually gives uh, Mainz the lead, but just, you know, Stuttgart really well in there. I just didn't like their jerseys. I thought the green is defensible because they have a crocodile as a mascot, but still, I don't like this whole military look. Um, and Waman Gituka in the 45th gives them um, an equalizer, which probably was deserved on the balance of play. And in the second half, Stuttgart is just playing it. Uh, Didavi in the 61st gets a well-deserved 2-2-1, two, 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 then uh, Niakete is for Mainz is sent off for uh, with the sex the second yellow and then Stuttgart uh, takes advantage of that. Klimovic and Kalajcic make it 4-1 and Stuttgart gets their first win. They should have probably gotten a point against Freiburg already, so I think Stuttgart is definitely enriches the Bundesliga. Enriches is not what I can say about Schalke. Uh, you know, Schalke and Werder, two of my the teams that I really like uh, in the Bundesliga, and it pains me to see how Schalke have fallen. Uh, just two seasons ago, they were still playing in the Champions League, uh, and now it's going all down, downhill. Mismanagement at its highest degree, and I actually think that Schalke, as we'll see, is one of the prime candidates to get uh, relegated. Fulkrug scoring a hat-trick for Bremen, who played in very light green jerseys, <laughs> white and light green jer jerseys. Uh, first half was all Bremen, second half a little bit uh, Schalke, but missing chances and went the penalty for a third for Fulkrug. Yeah, it was that. Then Kabak, who actually what was called already spitting in the first half, uh, guess he will get a suspension for, for that. He is sent, sent, sent off with, with the yellow red. They can, Ut gets one in stoppage time for Schalke, but yeah. The Schalke defense, especially Ut him, 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 him himself first, he completely mis, is misplaced, <laughs> let's put it that way. And then he is even waving for offset, a complete chaos there. Schalke. Probably a prime candidate to go, go down. Werder getting a vital win. Let's see where their story will go. Despite Dortmund losing, the story is Bayern losing. But it actually shows two things. A, uh, that the Bayern squad is not quite settled yet. And second, that the Bayern squad lacks some depth because uh, Hansi Flick gave like Lewandowski a break and, and so on. They had a game midweek against Sevilla which took them to overtime so they were definitely not fresh and yeah Hoffenheim set deep, took the Sevilla pl blueprint, set deep and hit them on the car contract especially when the defense is pressing that high and that played quick dividends. Uh, Bicak uh, Cic uh, in the 16th, the Boer in the 24th with two nice counter-attacks make it 2-0. Bayern not really having a chance, but you know, never count them out. Kimmich pulls one back, was actually a really nice shot. But the second half, Hoffenheim should have sealed the deal much, much, much sooner. Um, uh, Flick brought on even Lewandowski, Goretzka. But to be, to be honest, it was all Hoffenheim most of the time. Uh, it was an open game in the second half, uh, a little bit as well, uh, but you know, when Kramic make it 3-1 after Babu, uh, Bebu assist was basically done, and Kramic then adds a penalty to make it 4-1. A game that flattered, a uh, result that flattered actually by a little bit. And then Freiburg with a rather unlucky 1-1 against Wolfsburg. So this sets up the following table now. Who is top? The two teams to beat the big boys, Hoffenheim and Augsburg, Leipzig in third, uh, and Frankfurt also, also there. So Frankfurt kind of against Bielefeld, da, 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 now suddenly you look much better. Bayern falls to seventh spot with a goal differential of 9 to 4. I mean, uh, that's gotta look crazy. They're still also favorites to win it all. Um, Leipzig enters the conversation, Esther suddenly Hoffenheim for a Champions League spot. I think they are uh, currently in fifth spot for that, because Gladbach 
having a rather dreadful start. Dortmund also, but Dortmund Pro will be strong, strong enough to float kind of on top. Um, down we, on, uh, on, on the board we see Schalke and Mainz, the two chaos clubs, and Schalke manager uh, David Wagner has already been relieved of his duties, and it will see about Mainz. Union still odds on because of their rating. Uh, Bielefeld there as well, but Bielefeld, I think they could surprise uh, people. I am not sure if Bielefeld and Stuttgart, um, if either one of them will go down. It all remains to, to be seen still early in the season, but both of them play rather excitingly and there are some teams in there that definitely do not fit the bill at the moment for the Bundesliga. Uh, next weekend, I think the big match up here, I, 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 I've looked, I mean, Bayern against Hertha, yeah, but I, there is nothing that really jumps out, out at you, so Union against Mainz is a huge relegation battle, I would uh, say. Uh, Köln, Gladbach. Both started hor horribly, but it's a derby and a fiercely contested one at that. Uh, there was even at the game show a contest uh, that didn't want to say the name FC, FC Köln on TV because he's, he is a Gladbach fan. He promptly got invited by Gladbach for his stance. I think Stuttgart Leverkusen is a sleeper here. Leipzig should score many goals and Bayern Hertha will be a slugfest, I'm, I assume, for the Bavarians. But who will? Strike back, but they have to play Dortmund in the midweek as well, so maybe things are open. In Austria, uh, Tirol gets a very surprising 2 0 win over Altach. Salzburg uh, completely dominated Reed in the first half, uh, but only got one late goal through Berisha at the end of the first half. They should have been up at 2 or 3. That gave Reed a lot of confidence to come back. Berisha makes it 2 0, but after that, Reed really hit them. Uh, physically and uh, had their chances. They should have gotten more than just the one goal uh, through Wiesma in the 83rd. They should have probably scored much sooner. Uh, they had also a big chance for an equalizer, but in stoppage time, Dhaka gets that deserved 3 1 win. But uh, I think if you read, uh, you gotta ask yourself a few questions. If finishing is there, you could have gotten a point. I tell you, read. Although promoted, I think this will be a tough team to get out. Uh, maybe not quite good enough to make the top six uh, round, but I think they will not really be uh, in the relegation battle. That's the feeling I have. Austria, uh, no. Um, Rapid finds himself very quickly down against St. Burton, but then uh, 15th instead of 17th, one is a penalty. Turn, turn around, hang on. Slightly better uh, than St. Burton, but it was a rather open game. St. Burton also one of those teams that I think are doing quite well this season. Austria twice leads against Admir and cannot get a, get a win against the clearly worst team who have changed the coach. Maybe that has something to do. Hartwig gets a late equalizer against Sturm in the Styrian derby. And then the big game was Lask against Wolfsburg, which of course I watched uh, in gorgeous weather. Now it's awful weather uh, for Monday. Uh, was really an uh, intense game that Wolfsburg actually, Wolfsburg, not Wolfsburg, Wolfsburg, was a little bit better, say, for the first um, 20 minutes or so, but without having really chances. 26th minute, uh, one of the best goals that Lask have scored this, uh, this season, which were, yeah, <laughs> 10, 11, 12. A uh, little bit moving around in the uh, around the touch touchline ball comes to Renner who plays a deep ball to Ragutz who was involved before who chests it down in the way of Balic who basically one times it with a low shot into the corner absolute beauty absolutely beauty uh, there should have been, there could have been two or three after that that flipped the switch for Lars could then had really with a lot of uh, power. Um, good chances, Ragutz misses uh, header again, uh, Michal from a diff, uh, di 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 difficult angle but another really well played attack, uh, Lask getting in form I have to say. Second half uh, starts a little bit slowly but um, Balaj is then brought down a box, Ragutz makes it 2-0 uh, from the pair 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 spot and Lask actually has Good control of the, of the game again, Ragutz missing another one. Uh, out of nowhere, uh, free, free free kick that is uh, very poorly cleared and Baumgartner with also one times the shot 
makes it 1-2 and I'm thinking, oh yeah, 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 this is not what I needed because the game was going really nicely. Fortunately enough, a free kick is for Lask on the right side. Um, and typically Lask goal. Michael, free kick, Trana, header. 3-1. And could have been 4 if Reiter, who missed already two big ones against Reda, uh, gets his, you know, clumsiness away. It was a really good performance by Lask. I'm looking forward now what they will do against Sporting. Um, in the table now we have the three of the top four already on top. Wolfsburg having a so and so start, but you know, they lost away to Lask, you lost at home to Salzburg, which are two results that are, I would say, admissible hardback you beat. So I think that's fine. Um, St. Pölten in the Tirol in there is a little bit so, 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 so surprising. I think at the end, uh, Altach and Admira. Maybe, maybe, although I think Altach is a much better team. Next round, again, Lask has the big game against Rapid. I hate that the matchup is exactly timed like that because we have to play, have a difficult game at Sporting, then a difficult game at Rapid. It's, yeah, I don't go in there with huge expectations. Um, I think it was for St. Burton, if you have the chance, might also be a sleeper game there. Anyway, let me know what you saw, whether you agree with my assessment of these games. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.